And the kind of event that leaves a big scar in the earth and causes a mass extinction, a global mass extinction, is far, far, far in excess of the kind of event that would leave no scar or trace at all, except for the fact that it would reset the cultural clock and put our civilization back in the Stone Age. And you know what could do that? A swarm of about 150 or 200 Tunguska-sized objects, and we'd be right back in the Stone Age. Now, is that a plausible scenario? What we saw in 1908, we've talked about that, and here I've got some more stuff I'm gonna show you on that tonight. What we saw was a small piece of space debris plunging into the Earth's atmosphere and blowing up with the force of a giant hydrogen bomb and wiping out 2,000 square miles of forest. An area bigger than the entire area within 285, the perimeter of 285, devastating. Well, good thing for us and for civilization, or but maybe not such a good thing, that it happened in Siberia and there was almost nobody around to witness it except a few uh, Tungusi tribesmen and, and most of the casualties uh, of that event was reindeer.